for the gamers and I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys where you can farm for the purple modifications and there are actually two different areas where you can farm for these uh, the first area is sort of at the beginning of the game and it is the scrapper site and you should be able to get between one and two purple modifications for your weapons and outfits so if you saw my last video I showed you how to get metal shards uh, but it's still quite a lot to buy purple modifications they're 1350 metal shards each which is a lot so if you don't want to buy them then uh, just use this technique and, uh, and farm for them We're going to be showing you two methods at this first area. I'm going to show you the stealthy approach first and then the not so stealthy approach. And I've actually just uh, got all the lodge weapons in the game as well. There's three of them that you can obtain. They're pretty cool looking. They've got like... Uh, little bit of gold highlights on them so um, I'm probably gonna do a video on that that might be the uh, the next video that I do now you could take a mount over to here but I, I tend not to because the, uh, the mount uh, does tend to fight with the uh, the scrappers here and uh, like I said we're going to be using the stealthy approach first Now the lure call and silent strike are probably the first two perks that you should obtain because they are very very useful. You just call over the nearest machine and then use your silent strike to take it out in one hit. I think there's four scrappers at this site. And if you point your weapon at the machine that you want to use Lurkle on, that's a, uh, another handy tip for you guys. And then we're going to use the Silent Strike to uh, take out the machine in one hit. see there there is a, a purple modification in that scrap pile oh, to pull over again and then silent strike it's lights out for that machine. So, disassemble some of these. Uh... Oh, I've got loads of spare rocks in those uh, boxes. <laughs> disassemble all the green and uh, blue ones because we don't really want those. I tend to keep around four of each different type of modification. Because you do have a limit of uh, a maximum lim limit of 70. 
modifications. But what I've done is I've, I've kept all my blue weapons and I've actually used them to store extra modifications on. So again, there's another handy tip for you guys. Although I have recently taken all the modifications off and, uh, and sold those blue weapons. Stealthily come up to this scrapper and take it out with a silent strike. So we have one purple modification in this scrap pile, and uh, we'll just go back and grab that other one as well. You're guaranteed to get at least one purple modification, but as you can see there, there is actually two. There's one in each scrap pile. And we're gonna have to uh, disassemble the ones that we don't want. We get half the metal shards back. You could travel to a merchant and sell them for the uh, full amount of shards, but I don't actually need metal shards at the moment, so... so I've got over 120,000. trying to actually get some um, damage modifications for my uh, new lodge weapons got three handling ones on this I think the highest handling one I have is 65% I don't know if it actually goes higher than that that's the highest one I've seen so far Got a lot of 59% handling coils. Handling is basically your, your reload time. Let's check out, see if I've got... Uh, Any better ones than this for my lodge weapons? Uh, if I do do another video on the, the lodge weapons, I will tell you how you actually obtain these. And they're actually a bit better than I expected them to be. I highly recommend that you do save your game regular. You know, just in case the game crashed. You know, you say you was playing for a, a few hours and then forgot to save. You know, you're going to lose that few hours progress if your game crashes or, or something happens. So, get into the habit of saving your games regular. 
So this time we're going to use the not so stealthy approach. So we're basically just going to run in and grab these uh, coils. one purple modification this time. And I'm actually not using the uh, shield weaver armor. I'm using my uh, stealth one that's the one i tend to use the most i don't really use the shield weaver that often so no purple modifications out of that second scrap pile fortunately but like i said you're guaranteed to get at least one occasionally two We'll just disassemble the ones we don't want. Um, you need the Frozen Wilds DLC to unlock that perk to disassemble resources, which it's really handy, I must admit. Because otherwise you'd have to drop, keep dropping stuff, and then you're losing metal shards if you do that. So that's the first area, the scrapper site. And then that's the nearest uh, campfire to, to the scrapper site. So we're going to show you the second area now. You're going to have to be a bit further on in the game to unlock this area. And we're going to be taking on Thunder Jaws. And that's the area of the map that you want to be going to. There is a campfire not too far away. And... Uh, My preferred weapon for doing this is the trip caster with the old uh, blast wire. It's a shame you don't actually get a lodge version of this. But I must admit I do enjoy using the the trip caster. So we fast travel to this uh, campsite. And we're going to be using a, uh, a stealthy technique first and then kind of a little bit of a stealthy technique second. And you're guaranteed to get three purple modifications each time that you uh, actually farm this machine. So this second area is it's better than the, the first area but uh, you might not be too far into the game and not have access to this second area. So that's why I'm showing you guys two different areas, one early game and one a bit later. save the game first just in case now you want to be scanning the machine and then highlighting the track if you're able to do this because it shows you exactly where 
the machine is going to uh, go. So we want to be using our blast wire here. like thunder indeed we didn't actually need all of those so uh, I do have the ability to pick, pick up my blast wire so I'm just going to do that there we have it three purple modifications is uh, a lot better than paying 1,350 metal shards for. Right, uh, let's uh, disassemble the ones we don't want. I don't actually have the um, upgraded spear yet. You get that uh, toward, towards the end of the game, I believe. And you're able to actually add uh, spear modifications to it. I think that's something to do with the Frozen Wilds DLC, adding the actual modifications though. But I haven't actually finished that DLC yet. I'm sort of concentrating on, on finishing the, uh, the Frozen Wilds first. And then uh, going and doing all the, the side quests and then the main quests in the game. I am actually max level. You do get a trophy for reaching level 60. I've spent an awful lot of time um, sort of taking out the machines and animals and what have you. And just exploring the map because it is a quite a big map. So all you do is you save your game and then restart from your save and that will respawn the enemy in or you could just fast travel away and then fast travel back and that would also respawn the enemy in so there's two ways you can actually do that Again, we want to be using our blast wire. So, why highlighting the uh, machine's track is is really useful. Right, that should be enough. Let's just uh, hide. There we go. Machine down. collect any uh, unused blast wires. Uh, yeah, the uh, spear modification core. I've got a few of those already. It's the, uh, the damaged ones that uh, I want for my new uh, lodge weapons.
this is the uh, the fastest way I know to actually get purple modifications keep pressing the wrong buttons again that's what happens when you play loads of different games so this is my stealth outfit that I actually have been using um, it is a frozen wilds dlc one so and you actually need blue gleam to uh to obtain this i think if i remember right, i think there's at least three um of these outfits maybe four can't quite remember but uh, you need a, a whole lot of blue gleam to uh, to obtain them and this is the one I was using. Got two stealth weaves on it. And on the other one I've got two stealth weaves and the insulated outfit weave which gives me 25 damage resistant. But since actually doing this video, I have taken off that weave and I've gone for an additional uh, stealth weave. So I'm even more stealthy. Not sure, I think 15% is the maximum you can get for the, the stealth weaves. See, that would make me uh, quite a bit more stealthy. Now, I am able to uh, remove these and replace them with different ones because I have the Tinkerer perk. And that is very useful. It saves you having to lose these purple modifications. So you can just take them off and replace them with... Uh, a different one as you you know find better ones so that's the first area the scrapper site and the campfire and you get between one and two purple modifications each time and then the second area is the thunder jaw site which is uh, not too far away from Meridian. Sort of northeast from Meridian. I'm just sort of highlighting some areas that are, are close by. So, it, you know, if you do have uh, problems finding this area, then uh, hopefully this will help you to, uh, to find it. Well, I'm actually going to end this video there, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, then why not subscribe? And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.